And for Sunday the 13th, October, it's Force 13's AU channel. The Typhoon 20W located 38 decimal 6 degrees north, 141 decimal 9 degrees east. Wind 65 knots, minimum essential pressure is 970 millibars. Here's the latest from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre starting off with their track. The Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has now issued their final advisory on the Typhoon. They issued 31. And it's located 113 nautical miles south southeast of Masawa, Japan, tracking northeast at 36 knots. This is over the last six hours. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery now depicts deep convection poleward and eastward of the low level circulation system, indicating that the typhoon is becoming extra tropical based on infrared imagery combination with radar imagery. The initial position is set with a good confidence. The accident pole and outflow is being offset by extremely high 50 to 60 knot vertical wind shear and land interaction along with cool less than 25 degrees Celsius sea surface temperature. The environment is highly unfavourable and the typhoon is tracking along the periphery of a subtropical ridge to the southeast. As the typhoon becomes embedded in the mid latitude rest of these, undergoes extra tropical transition. The track will turn more northeastward within 12 hours and will transition to a storm force cold core mid-latitude cyclone within 24 hours. Numical model guidance is in strong agreement leading to high confidence in the center's forecast track. And as mentioned, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center has now issued their final advisory. Now we turn to the local weather scene. A Bureau of Meteorology has in place a severe weather warning for damaging winds and surf for Norfolk Island. Complex low pressure system to the northeast of Lord Howe Island is deepening and moving east southeast towards the island. The low is currently forecast to pass just to the south of Norfolk Island early Monday before moving further southeast. This system is likely to bring strong winds, powerful surf to the island late Sunday, early Monday. Damaging winds averaging 60 to 70 kilometres an hour with gusts in excess of 90 kilometres an hour and may develop late Sunday afternoon or evening continuing into Monday morning. Winds are then expected to ease late Monday morning as the low moves south east and away from the island. However, damaging surf 
with significant wave heights reaching 5 metres at times is possible from early Monday morning until Monday evening. Southwest facing surf zones will be most exposed to these conditions. Some beach erosions is possible. And this low actually formed about 42 nautical miles off Sandy Cape up there on the northern tip of Fraser Island. Now we have a look at the latest BI Meteorology's total forecast of rain. Again, the information is to the right of the screen. And unfortunately, the New Zealand Japan is a uh, good and we'll bring that information to you at a later date again it's the state of Tasmania and the southern coastal region of Victoria going by the area in green You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also add force 13 on Skype and full 13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.